All right, so as I was saying um, on the other one, it'll be two separate videos. We're gonna compare deep V boats and uh, like a bass boat, like a console boat. But the other thing we're gonna do is control, uh, compare trolling motors. So with my boat, I have a cable steer um, trolling motors, cable driven. This one's a power drive. So when my dad was kind of deciding what to do with this boat, he didn't know if he wanted a cable one or these power drives. And me personally, when I was deciding, I thought there'd be a lot of delay. Um, like using the foot pedal since it's all electric but I didn't know that and there wasn't a whole lot of videos out there to kind of compare it so right off the bat um, a pro and con with uh, the power drive and it, they're different pounds for us so we can't kind of push like compare it pull wise but right off the bat something that I do like with this compared to how my cable sticks on my boat is you just come up push the button down it releases it and then you just push it out and you do got to hold on to it and then it drops it in that part's easy the parts nice it's simple the other part is <clears throat> if you do want to kind of like sit down and relax you just put your seat on pop it in there you're good so the cable drive part you can sit any way you want so you can swivel you can face this way you can face that way and then what's nice about the cable drive compared to the uh, cable one is you have a ton of slack we have it wrapped up of course but you can take it wherever you want if you would want to you could honestly put it back where my brother was just sitting down in on the deck you can sit on the seat take it the whole way back there you won't have to move so just if I was fishing this side I'll throw it over there and it's nice when you just sit on this seat um, it's super simple, it has 10 speeds on it. So, when you get to it, that center button is what drives it, moves it, and then that's right, that's left. Super simple, it's easy. I'll even demonstrate kind of how lightweight it is. I just use my big toe, it'll kind of be weird, but it just shows. I'm just pressing lightly with my big toe, that's how easy it is. So, super simple, um, that's something I wish I would have known when I was deciding if I wanted a cable drive on my trolling motor or not. Positives to it is it is super simple to use, it's super easy. Now, the cons for me, I have two cons that are like really big to me. So, if you're fishing for fun, I think this trolling motor would be great. Like if you just want to go out, relax, fish, do whatever. But fishing a lot of tournaments to me, especially if we're fishing like milfoil and it's super calm, if you come up front, um, when you turn it, it's super loud. And then I'm actually gonna switch that to three cons because I did mess up too. So when you drop this in, where's it at? You gotta got line it up. When you drop it in, you gotta line these grooves up so they, it's not too big of a deal, but when you switch it, it'll fall into place and then it gives it more grip so when you turn it, it just turns easily. Now we will show you what it actually sounds like because I had it messed up. That's my other con. But it's, it's super loud, so if you would happen to go flip mill foil to me that that's a con just because if they're like in a real finicky mood and it's super loud your trolling motor is making a lot of noise i don't like that the other thing that i don't like um is when you're going to turn like so for me when i use my cable driven one i kind of have like a muscle memory like with my foot and everything of like what's straight what's backwards what's left what's right with this if you're sitting sideways fishing this way you constantly got to look over to see where your trolling motor is at. Turn it, you go. And then you're going, you can turn it, but you don't know how far it turns. So then you got to look again to see where you want it and hit it again. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just something to consider. If you're out on a real windy day, it's kind of hard. You're constantly looking to see where you need to turn and everything. So that's about it. Pulling it up's just as easy. Uh, you just hit this cable. You just hit that cable right there pull it off and then it slides back so the next time we go out we'll demonstrate what the cable steer one's like all right so we're jumping back in um we're on my boat now where we're comparing trolling motors we were on the deep v 
now we're on um, my boat with the cable driven or yeah cable driven trolling motor so right off the bat the first thing which I like more than the um, power drive is the cable so on the power drive you have to hit that button and this one it's just your ordinary cable just pull it and then slap it up same thing pulling it back on super easy super simple that's definitely a pro for this trolling motor I like that a lot more than on that power drive now a con to me um, something to consider obviously I don't use my seat up here on the deep V we have the seat but when you're using the foot pedal pretty much the way the cable runs I mean you can bring it over here but then it just crosses that cable you got to keep it pretty much like right here on the right side you can turn it a little bit but you can't swivel in the chair like you were come over here move it so that's something to consider if you like leaning on your front seat or just if you're pan fishing it'd be really nice for pan fishing so Right off the bat then for this one, um, I mentioned it in on when we were on the deep V. Um, I like that I have like a muscle memory on this. So like I know all the way back is all the way going in reverse. And then keeping it in the middle was straight and then in between everything's else. I know that. So if we're flipping like this milfoil out here to the right of us and I'm moving around, I can just blindly flip and I know by the way where my foot is, like I'm going left, the more I go back, go reverse. It's forward, keep it center. Move a little bit forward, goes right. I know that. I don't have to look where it's going. I just know if it's windy, I can just keep fishing and keep my foot on it, and I just know where I'm at at all times. That's a positive for me, in my opinion. Um, a con is, again, you can't move it. You're kind of, you're stationed there. A lot of people will drill it in on a platform. I leave mine free, so I can kind of like turn it a little bit like this if I'm up front and someone else is up front flipping with me that's just me um, something else to kind of consider with them is when you pull up that power drive which we didn't really show it it would have a lever like right here you push it and pull up and you have to like sometimes it gets stuck on the front where it clips in this one again you just pull the cable pull it up to where it goes and then push it down clicked in place now it's good so that's just something else to consider um, and then the other pro I guess that I would lean towards with this compared to the power drive which is as nice as the power drive is and it's easy to use um, this one's a lot quieter you don't hear that turning at all so obviously with the power drive you hit that button you got the e it just goes back and forth which I'll show you again so that's a pro for this and then a con for that obviously but again it's all um opinionated if you are more into pan fishing or like walleye or something like that I would definitely go with the power drive if you're sitting on your front seat or leaning but for me if you're flipping milfoil going back in creeks going in pads I would go with the cable drive that's just my opinion if you're fishing a lot more deeper water and you're kind of sitting out in the middle fishing humps the power drive would probably be something to look into especially if you're leaning back on your stool or um, even just taking on wakes you can just set that to keep it straight and then just occasionally hit the button and you can set it wherever you're at or if you're in the back of the boat so hope that kind of gives you an idea we're not controlling like statistics and everything because this is a 24 volt and that other one um, that power drives a 12 volt so there's a lot of differences there so I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching